Today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat man coverage of Madden 24. The play is Pat's Y in out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. You can also find this play in the Packers playbook, and it really is one of the best ways to beat man coverage. Now, if you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, the link's going to be in the description for that. It's only $10. It will make you a better Madden player. I promise that. And if you want to learn all of our ebooks, everything's in the Patreon. So you don't just get the trips guide. You get every ebook we've done all year, every updated ebook that we will do throughout the year for just 10 bucks. Links in the description if you want to sign up. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to beat man coverage in Madden 24. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to zig the middle trips receiver. We are going to drag the inside trips receiver. We're going to wheel the running back. And we're going to put our tight end on a tight end apprentice post route. And then um, that's pretty much it. This is the entire setup. And what you're going to see first and foremost is if we see man coverage, the best and most consistent route in Man 24 for beating man coverage is a zig route. Now, one little pro tip that you can do with this play is you can put the zig route on either receiver. This is great for, um, you know, maybe giving the zig a little bit more space to work horizontally. It's also good if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to maybe motion snap your drag. Another little cool part about this little setup here is it will create kind of a little bit of a natural pick and a natural rub between the zig and the drag to help improve the man-to-man -man separation. And if you put the drag on the middle trips receiver, you'll see that it gives it a lot more time for that running back uh, to kind of clear out against man-to-man -man coverage. So those are kind of two of two ways to skin a cat, you know, two different ways that you can do it. Um, but the other cool part about this play is the running back wheel. Now, as Joe Flacco throws the ball into the third row, uh, I want to talk a little bit about this running back wheel route, as I do think it is one of the better routes in the game for attacking man-to-man. So the running back wheel route is super, super effective for attacking man-to-man -man coverage. And if you play Madden long enough, you know that most people are going to want to user this defender. So what's often going to be the case is the coverage is going to look something like, uh, basically something like this right here. And if that linebacker is matched up on the running back, you will see that when he cuts up field, he will absolutely get inside leverage. Got a terrible free form there. Uh, from Josh Allen, but basically you just want to freeform this up to the space that has been created uh, by the separation that the running back gets. So we'll, let me show you that a little bit better here. And let me just put this guy in a hook curl and we'll show you what I'm talking about. So again, just the main thing I want you to look at is this tight or this uh, running back. So when the running back is isolated with this linebacker, Josh Allen's the best linebacker in Madden Ultimate Team's not even close. I got to lob it out there, but he's he's open, okay? Um, he, he's totally open. It's just, you know, Madden is Madden sometimes. Sometimes the way you draw it up or the way it works in game doesn't always transfer to practice mode, but we will show this again, and it's going to be a great day whenever we actually finally throw this for a touchdown. And because he got absolutely bumped, okay, forget it. You need a taller receiver. Um, you need a taller running back. No big deal. We're going to move on from that. Don't worry about it. The wheel is a good read against man. If it's open, throw it. If it's not, don't. That's uh, some pretty good advice. But basically, um, you want to go from the wheel to the drag. So the drag is the other read coming across. If you wanted to, you could put a slant here. The slants are just so weird. Um, they, they just have not figured out a way to make slants work properly. That's the only reason why I'm using a drag route, okay? I want to use a slant, and then I want to take my running back and put him on an out route or some type of table route. But because slants are inconsistent against, the, against really everything this year, it's hard to trust the slant. Even they, they even dropped a patch to try to fix it, and it didn't completely fix it. So kind of use your discretion, but the concept is still there, whether it be a drag route and a wheel or a slant and an out route. That's kind of a two-way two, two way, uh, read. But the best route on the play is this tight end post. The tight end post is so good at being man coverage. It is so good at just – it really just beats everything, and they have to user the tight end post. If they don't user the tight end post, there's so many windows to throw this post, and it truly is one of the reasons why this offense is as good as it is. 
Um, there's not there's not a whole lot of offenses that have as good of a tight end post as the trip tight end does. Maybe no offense has it as good because you see he starts here and then I can throw him at any point, any point in this because of the spacing of trips tight end. As you can see, against zone coverage, the zones just run away from the tight end. They'll drift from it every single time. Another really interesting thing about this is, let's say they run cover two on you, uh, which is kind of a popular deal. Uh, first and foremost, you have that right there. That's a little bit of a tight throw, but with set feet lead, you can make that throw. Essentially, when that post cuts to the inside, he's going to have separation uh, against the cover two coverage. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to drop that defender into a deep zone. So they're going to have to have a deep third of some type. What this is going to then leave, if you look, look where I can throw that tight end post all in that little space, and we're able to attack the cover two defense. So you really attack cover three, cover four, all those coverages the same. And then basically what they're going to be forced to do is they're going to be forced uh, to user this tight end post. So what does that do? Well, it takes their user out of the middle of the field. As you see my slant route just doing weird stuff. See, that's what I'm saying about slant routes. They just do the weirdest stuff in the game this year. It is the most infuriating um, nonsense that uh, that I've seen this year. I, I actually, I mean, literally slant routes being broken just kind of like completely took away one of the, uh, a, a hot route. Um, but anyways, you should be able to throw that right there. That's the idea. Um, and if you want to use the running back wheel, if you want to use the running back wheel, one of the things, if you know it's zone coverage, I would really recommend putting the middle trips receiver on the drag. And the reason why is it's going to give them – basically more spacing in the middle for the user to have to go to that tight end so that then that drag comes underneath it and you're able to attack, you know, all of the coverages with the same play. So this play does a really good job of literally being able to attack man coverage, zone coverage, every coverage in the game, and it really opens up everything you can start to do from trips tight end. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, head down to the description and click the link down below.